Yesterday, a man told me, because of my show, he is now pro-life. I'm gonna tell you about him in a minute. But in the past 48 hours, this is what we've heard from the Democrats about abortion. I know it's an uncomfortable topic, but you don't wanna miss this. First of all, a paid contributor, a commentator on CNN, her name is Christine Quinn, said on air, when a woman is pregnant, that is not a human being inside her. Watch. When a woman gets pregnant, that is not a human being inside of her. It's part of her body. CNN's paid contributor doesn't believe that this baby in utero who grabbed the surgeon's hand during surgery is a human being. She doesn't believe that this baby at 18 weeks gestation is a human being. She doesn't believe that this baby is a human being. If this is not a human being, then what is it? Then of course, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted, six weeks pregnant equals two weeks late for your period. Well, this is what two weeks late on your period looks like when you're pregnant. Two weeks late has arms and legs forming, fingers and toes, and a heartbeat. So I got what we call ratioed by the left on Twitter for that post, I posted that on Twitter. 3,500 leftists tore into me, telling me that the baby looked like a shrimp or a Pokemon, was the size of a gnat. Some said they'd kill it if they found it crawling in their apartment. And one woman said if she'd seen that ultrasound of her son looking like this, she would have aborted him. It's just nasty, nasty stuff. The crux of the matter, though, are the two arguments from the left on why it's okay to kill this unborn baby are as follows. Number one, its size. And number two, it doesn't look human. Now, both of these gross arguments use appearance to determine humanity. Since when does size and shape determine humanity? No, science does and morality does. But not one of these pro-abortion leftists had a scientific argument on what makes this not a baby. The abortion junkie said, well, it's not a baby because science calls it a fetus or an embryo. No, wrong again. Embryo and fetus are stages of development of human beings, like newborn, infant, toddler, adolescent, adult, geriatric. A stage of development isn't a different species. It's all a human being, just at different stages of development. Then we had Democratic State Representative Brian Sims of Pennsylvania live stream himself saying, I will pay $100 to anybody who will dox these three teenage girls because they are pro-life. He called these teenage girls racist and sexist and misogynists, and he degraded their religion because they are pro-life. As if that's not enough in the space of just 48 hours, just yesterday for the 38th time in the House of Representatives, Democrats refused to vote on the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Act, a bill that would require doctors to give medical care to babies born alive after botched abortions. 38 times the Democrats have said no, They've refused to give medical care to babies who are alive and born. But then I got a message on Facebook from a man named Philip. Philip said to me, for 43 years I was pro-choice, yet your abilities to communicate truth in a way I understood has forever changed my views. Thank you for your efforts. You are making measurable differences in people's lives. Philip changed his mind about abortion. This is why we do what we do. For every hundred haters, every radical leftist who cheers abortion, there's one person like Philip. And that makes it all worthwhile. So keep exposing the radical left in their extreme abortion agenda. Keep engaging Planned Parenthood and feminists who tell lies about abortion. Keep debunking false talking points from Democratic politicians who tell us that abortion helps women when we know it hurts women. Keep sharing the science that proves that life begins at conception. Because when we broadcast what the left has said in the past 48 hours about abortion, it changes people's mind. And people like Philip become pro-life. And that's my final point.